Over the weekend, the Mona Lisa was attacked. Now the Mona Lisa is a painting and so you can't really attack, it's not a person. Anyway, the Mona Lisa painting was attacked with a pastry, that's right. A man disguised as an elderly woman in a wheelchair stood up in front of the Mona Lisa and smeared what appeared to be some kind of like maybe a key lime pie, a little cream puff, a little, I don't know, a lot of ganache up there. I need to get better at my Great British Bake Off. But just smeared the glass that was outside of the Mona Lisa with cream from a dessert. Again, very invested in what kind of dessert. Video footage of the incident shared on Twitter by Luke Sundberg is a 20 year old witness. The world famed Leonardo da Vinci painting was attacked by a man who jumped up from a wheelchair covered in protect, covered the protective glass over the artwork in cream. Now we don't have a video of the pastry being thrown, but we have the post of what it looked like. So here's a clip of, of the Mona Lisa shortly after. No way. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> I just wanna say that um, there, the 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 person who was apprehended, um, he also tried to smash the glass. Uh, he also threw rose petals around the scene, and then he was escorted away by security. But this is not just the work of a crazy person. This is actually a work of someone who has a message, who has a point to make. And so, this point in particular was around climate change. So I wanted to go to this video of the gentleman who was apprehended um, speaking to the camera in French and he's um, talking about how Earth is being destroyed. Take a look. So if you don't speak French, um, the Ajans Friends Press does, and they said that uh, the man says there are people who are destroying the earth. All artists think about the earth. That is why I did this, think of the planet. Um, even though initially there was some panic on like cream, Mona Lisa, oh my God. He apparently was applauded and he was supported in what he, what he, what he was doing. Uh, was thoughts. Would this be your tack? I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> um, like uh, you know, a black guy defacing a, a priceless worth of work of art. I, I just. I just would never hypothesize that that would turn out great for me. So that's not something that I would try <laughs> to do. Um, so yeah, no, that wouldn't be my tact. But you know, God bless this dude. Uh, Mona Lisa might be a little overrated at this point. I mean, it's been hundreds sure. of years. Better art has dropped, people. <laughs> um, but like, I, you know, I get it. I, I get it. The 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 situation um, involving our planet and the heating of it, and you know, the inaction that's been taken by the great powers of the world can be frustrating to anybody. So I understand his tactic. I don't know that again. Like I don't know that I would be willing. To do something um, as brazen, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad that there was like a point, and it wasn't just like, hey, yo, follow me at pastry interrupter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like he wasn't like handing out flyers. There was no mixtapes involved. Uh, it was just, this is what I want to say with it. And I think it's interesting because if you've been to the Louvre, you've seen the Mona Lisa. It is like, yes, there are, you know, they have to stage the visitors because there's so many people who want to swarm it and are around it. All attention and focus is on the Mona Lisa. So it is like, you know, climbing up to, you know, the Empire State Building and unfurling a giant banner, but not. I mean, I might have gone with like stick a sticker that says there are no jobs on a dead planet or, you know, like, Extinction Rebellion or whatever the hell, you know, or like a little photo of Greta Thunberg putting, I would have done a, 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 full, a sticker of Greta's face on top of the Mona Lisa. But that's just me, you know, we each have our, we, we pick our poison. And actually the reason that I say that is because the Mona Lisa's been through this. Oh, she's seen some stuff. So she's been the target of similar incidents in the past. The She was stolen in 1911, um, so that was one thing. But in 
she was doused with acid while on display in 1950, which is why right now the Mona Lisa is kept behind glass. In 2011, a Russian woman who was frustrated not being able to get, get French citizenship threw a ceramic cup at the painting. <gasps> and the cup reportedly shattered, but did not harm the artwork. <laughs> Teflon, <laughs> take that. <laughs> that uh, cup. <laughs> <laughs> this painting is very, very resilient and, and, and obviously <laughs> uh, just rouse people up. That's that's kind of crazy. Throwing a a damn ceramic at the thing, like wow, this this woman must have really, she must have really liked baguettes, man. <laughs> like she just didn't want to leave leave I friends. Would love, I love to imagine that someone who is like, she's not even that pretty. You know what I mean? Like just like, oh, most beautiful woman alive. Ugh, we throws it <laughs> just like I'm hotter than you. I don't know why I'm doing a German or another Elon accent. Um, I do want to say that like it it is to me it speaks to just how like um, helpless so many of us feel when it comes to climate action, and that you take these extreme measures, it is these absurdist measures. So uh, I wanted to go to you know reminding folks that actually in 2021 an Extinction Rebellion protester tried to draw attention to himself by gluing himself to a plane. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know if we have photos of this, but double gold medalist James Brown scaled the aircraft in London on October 2019. Oh, this was a different, this is a different, this so one glued themselves. 2019, this is a cyclist who represented Great Britain in cycling and athletics and represented Ireland in cross country skiing. He glued one hand to the plane before wedging his mobile phone in the door to prevent it from closing. Very smart. He spent an hour on the aircraft live streaming his protest on Facebook before firefighters removed him. So sorry, it was the same incident, uh, my bad. But I remember that image and like, it's so funny. We're in this moment where like mass shooters in Buffalo are live streaming their attacks, right? And like, you see the way that far right people live stream and use Facebook and other streaming platforms for like political purposes. And in that case, it's to kill innocent civilians, specifically elderly black people in a supermarket. And then the left, who the right wants you to believe is equally as dangerous and awful, just delayed a plane for like an hour and super glued himself to it in order to, oh yeah, help us all survive. So the like tomato tomato, the like the, the idea that it's just like the same thing is very funny to me. Like, oh yeah, you were live streaming yourself, putting your <laughs> Body literally on the line to stop a plane from taking off, man. I think let's think about that every time we uh, we take a flight. <laughs> don't you don't you feel like a coward, Francesca, for not going to, to this extreme for your cause? Like I, I might have to, you know, take myself to the train tracks at some point here no. uh, to make a point. You know, like these guys are they, they're putting their money where their mouth is. Well, here's the thing about uh, my thing is, I'm <laughs> for Jessica I, said nah. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I don't think. I so. do feel bad, but I just I don't know what glue is gonna do to my skin. Like I've got like is like eczema and stuff, and like I just can't be super gluing. Like I'm down to lock down. You want to lock down? We'll do the locking lock boxes. I'm into that, but the super glue, like. <laughs> And 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 but I think it must work. Doesn't that just hurt when they try to pull you off? Somebody super glued themselves during a couple of NBA games. Well, no, the one person ran onto the court, got tackled. Another woman, she super glued herself to the floor. Um, I think in Minnesota this was or Memphis, I can't remember. In protest or just like yeah, I in love protest. You. No, it was in protest, like some animal rights type of thing. I, I don't even remember what the cause was, but it was just like, yeah, she super glued herself to the floor, the court um, at an NBA playoff game. So yeah, it was kind of crazy. Uh, I I want to know what was behind that, but like I it also reminds me of like streakers, but streakers aren't like streaking for the climate. They're just streaking yeah, to like just, they just want attention. They yeah, they're just like my ass was on CNN or you know not CNN, yeah. whatever. <laughs> I'm like how little I watch sports. 
Uh, my ass was on NBC. Anywho, um, hats off to uh, this gentleman and his uh, his puff pastries. I think there should be more action like that. Uh, that being said, respect the Mona Lisa. Whatever. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.